It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. Hello and welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat DiCibato from the Daily South Town newspaper. And we are at the Beggar's Pizza location on 127th Street and Kedzie Avenue in lovely Blue Island right across the street from the alma mater, Eisenhower High School. Folks, I have a great show for you this week. Um, going to dissect some things. We're going to talk about Lincoln Way East football winning the Class 8A state championship. Kudos to the Griffins. Great game Saturday night. We are actually taping on Sunday. I didn't get home until 1 in the morning, and here we are taping at noon on Sunday. So dragging a little bit, but got to do what you got to do. But great, great game. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about the boys' basketball season. Uh, that tipped off last week. Um, we're going to dissect our preseason top 10. And, uh, yeah, it should be a really exciting boys' basketball season. We are going to have a guest on. Can't announce it yet. Probably one of the best guests we've had this season. Uh, that guest will be popping by at some point here. All right, folks, we are going to go to a Beggar's Pizza timeout. Remember, beggarspizza.com. Join the loyalty program, Big Cheese membership. Uh, great some, get some great specials. And also, holiday get-togethers, folks. Beggar's Pizza, primarily this location in Blue Island. We've got three nice rooms here. They could open up the one big room, celebrate the holidays, and always remember our sponsors, Beggar's, La Barra, uh, Labriola Bakery Cafe, Lisa Thomas Salon, and nice stocking stuffers there for, for the holidays. All right, we come back. We're going to talk Lincoln Way East Football Class 8A State Championship. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American Classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala. Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the states Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. If you're just joining us, we're at the Beggar's Pizza location on 127th Street and Kedzie Avenue in lovely Blue Island. And remember, lunch buffet, folks, Monday through Friday, 8.50. And believe me, it, you will not walk out of here hungry, that's for sure. All right, let's talk about this Class 8A state championship. Lincoln Way East coming through, defeating Loyola 23-14 Saturday night up at uh, Northern Illinois University. Kudos to the Griffins, man. 14-0, second Class 8A state championship in the program's history. The first one was back in 2005. Again, they went 14-0. Uh, this team, though, man, a resilient group. Saturday night. You know, quarterback Brendan Morrissey, who is their go-to guy in offense, a leading rusher on the team, severely sprained uh, right ankle. He could barely move. And uh, running back uh, Ryan Sienna dinged up his shoulder. He was, you know, he was relegated to, like, part-time status. So they had to do some uh, juggling here. And sophomore A.J. Henning, who's been – he's got, like, three or four offers already, Illinois, Minnesota, uh, among some other uh, college programs. You know, a tremendous – player and he broke off two big runs uh, that really th that carried the the Griffins to victory a uh, 63 yard touchdown run and a 42 yard touchdown run uh, they were big time man big time runs 
And uh, East was actually trailing this game at one point. 14-13 in the fourth quarter. Didn't look good. And uh, Dominic Zobin, big-time field goal, 32-yard field goal. Gives him the lead, 16-14. And then uh, Henning ripped off a 42-yard run to kind of seal the deal and make it 23-14. But uh, kudos to the Griffins' defense. Stepped it up. Uh, they really, really uh, denied Loyola's running game. Couldn't get anything rolling. Um, and they were forced to pass the ball a lot, Loyola, and they had some, they had some success throwing the ball, no doubt about it, but uh, when push came to shove, the East defense led by, led by Devin O'Rourke, who we had on this show, a Northwestern recruit a couple weeks back, um, they, would, they just got after it. And, uh, Loyola, a very good team, coached by John Holosek, a Marion Catholic grad who played eight seasons in, in the NFL. He's done a great job over there, but, uh, you know, uh, the, the Griffins came through here, and uh, Rob Zavonar, man, you talk about a guy who's taking his program 17th year. They've made the playoffs all 17 seasons. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's quite an accomplishment, man, especially when you're just starting out a program. And obviously there was some adversity with this program, too, with Lincoln Way North shutting down. They lost some of those kids uh, after their sophomore year, shuffled off of Lincoln Way Central. And they did get some kids from Frankfurt Square that would have gone to Lincoln Way North, such as A.J. Henning. So they benefited from that. But uh, this senior class was a, a tremendous, tremendous group. And looking toward next year, uh, the, the Griffins are, you know, they're loaded. They got Henning coming back. They've got some other running backs coming back. And, uh, you know, they're, they're not going to slip too much. They're, they're still going to be a top five uh, team in the preseason. And they, they could win it all again in 8A. Um, so we'll see what happens uh, with the Griffins. And I, I got to give a shout out. Uh, great situation, man. The offensive coordinator over at uh, Lincoln East, Coach Palisard, uh, his son Turner Palisard was a senior. I don't know if you saw my column. Uh, no, it wasn't a column. It was actually a story on, on Wednesday. Uh, you know, to talk about a great father-son moment to be able to share in this state championship. Uh, and Turner had a great career um, at East. He's going to Iowa, play football. And uh, to be able to share this moment this season with, with his father, uh, just a, a tremendous you know, ach achievement and, and something they're going to be able to talk about the rest of their lives. So uh, kudos to the Palisar family and, and this special, special moment. And also kudos to Northern Illinois University. I got to tell you something, you know, it, this, this thing's going to alternate every year. Champagne's going to host next year. Uh, and I've been able to experience both. This is the second time uh, in the past three seasons that Northern Illinois University has been able to host this and they've done a tremendous job. I mean, they've got people scattered everywhere, directing traffic. You know, you're not wondering where things are at. And, you know, if, I don't know if you've ever been out to DeKalb, Northern Illinois. Um, you know, it's kind of condensed, but uh, tremendous job. I think Illinois could take a few, uh, take a few uh, lessons from Northern Illinois University in regards to hosting this thing and, and getting people out and, and making sure people are going to the right place. And, uh, and they also do a tremendous job feeding the media. There's a nice buffet. I'm not going to mention the business that they, they got this stuff from, but really nice, nice spread beyond the popcorn and pretzels and chips that were usually uh, fed. So kudos to Northern to, to stepping it up, man. Cause you know, a lot of these guys, myself, I just covered the 8A game, but there are guys out there covering all four classes on Saturday, all four classes on Friday. They're hungry, man. You got to feed the beast. And they did a nice job hooking up the media uh, at Northern Illinois University. So Good job there. All right, folks, we are going to go to a Lisa Thomas Salon timeout. Remember, Lisa Thomas Salon, gals, $66 haircut and highlights at all three locations, Mokina, uh, Tinley Park, and Orland Park at Lisa Thomas Salon. And, uh, you know, i got to make a little mention here. Next Saturday, December 2nd, Blue Island holding their Christmas lights parade. And uh, always a great event. Starts at about 5.30, the parade. Um, but... You get here about 1 o'clock. they got a uh, Chris Kringle Mart. A lot of good things happening. Uh, and Lisa Thomas Salon always has one of the best floats, man. It is big time. So not doing anything next Saturday? Come on out to the island. Love to have you. All right, folks, uh, we come back. We're going to dissect this boys basketball uh, preseason top ten. Stay tuned. It's time, your time. Look renewed. Feel rejuvenated. 
visit Lisa Thomas Salon. Whether it's a new hairstyle, expertly applied makeup, skin treatments, or nail services, our professional stylists are up to date on all the latest techniques and styles to help you achieve the look you've always wanted. Find the you you deserve. Your transformation begins at Lisa Thomas. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blount has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warniak Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. If you're suffering from physical pain, nothing else matters. The one thing that should is Midwest Orthopedic Consultants because experience never mattered more. Serving the community for 25 years with over 90 years of combined orthopedic experience, our fellowship trained surgeons provide individualized care to those suffering from orthopedic pain. We deliver comprehensive care from diagnostic to surgical to rehabilitative services, all under one roof in each of our locations. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, bringing university level orthopedic care close to home. Hello, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I don't know where this guest is at. Me and Gerard, cameraman extraordinaire, are wondering when this uh, guest is going to stop by, but hopefully stop by pretty soon. But we're going to talk about the boys' basketball uh, preseason top 10. And if that guest doesn't show up, i got a year mama for him, that guest, all right? Old school, old school star sports beat on that. All right, so top 10 preseason, got a little different team sitting at number 10. Rich East Rockets, coached by Bulls legend Craig Hodges and a Rich East grad, for those not in the know. Um, but the Rockets, nice team this year, man. They're, um, they're a little untested, but very skilled. Uh, Vashon Sims, one of the top players in the area, uh, six foot one guard, pretty explosive player. Uh, they also have Antron Washington. Ramon Woods. So these guys that have some experience. Clifton uh, Jimerson, another kid, six foot three. You know, he 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 played a lot of ball for him last year. And then they got some size. A couple six five kids, Matthew Cato and uh, Nathaniel Reese. So the Rockets have a good blend. They've got some size, they've got some guard, good guards, and they've got some experience. So I expect the Rockets to, to have a good season. They were uh, they were under five hundred last year, but I think they're gonna bounce back from that. This is a team that could win eighteen to twenty games uh, this season. Uh, number nine, Bloom. Blazing Trojans, man, they are an untested team. Uh, leaning heavily on uh, these, these four sophomores, very talented sophomores, no doubt about it, but I think there's going to be some growing pains, and they did, I think they were 2-2 two and two at the Chicago Heights Classic last week. Um, four sophomores, Donovan Newby, uh, Keyshawn Williams, Dante Maddox Jr., and Martise Mitchell. Uh, Dante Maddox Jr., his father, uh, Dante Maddox Sr., is the coach of this team, but watched him a little bit at the Classic last week, and, uh, you know, they just got to settle it down a little bit, gain some confidence. I think you got four very talented players that are all trying to take the bull by the horn. Um, going to have to develop some chemistry and kind of play off each other. And uh, I think that's going to happen. Dante Max is a really good young coach. He's a Bloom grad. He'll get this thing straightened out. They do have some seniors. They're going to have to provide some leadership, man. They're going to have to actually tell these sophomores, hey, this is how things got to be done. Don't try and do too much. But uh, Blazing Trojans, probably a team to look at in the second half of the season and into the playoffs who can make some noise. Uh, number eight, Brother Rice. Uh, Crusaders coached by Blue Island native Bobby Frazier. Uh, had a great season last year. You know, they've got some, some key pieces to replace. Obviously, um, Mike Niego and Josh Niego. I mean, I'm sorry, Mike Shepsky and Josh Niego. Those guys carried a load last year. They're gone now. So other kids are going to have to step up. And uh, the Crusaders have some nice pieces uh, led by Brendan Coughlin. Kid could, uh, he, he could shoot, man. He's a three-point uh, extraordinaire. He can get it done. Um, they also got a kid, a junior, Josh Bullinger. Uh, Josh, uh, kind of a lengthy six foot three kid. He got some playing time last year. Uh, Ryan Kellogg, another kid who could shoot the three. Um, so they got some, some guys that could shoot the ball. No doubt about it. They're, they're going to be a team that's going to be relying on the three point shot. But they kind of hit the free agency jackpot with the transfer of Marquise Kennedy from Crete Moni, the junior. 
combo guard, mainly plays the point, but he can score, he can handle the ball, great decision maker, and uh, that's a huge get by the Crusaders. I mean, uh, this kid can kind of do it all. Uh, great defender, so that's the guy that's going to be able to run this offense and kind of penetrate and, and kick the ball out to, to Kellogg and Coughlin. Those guys could hit, hit the, uh, the three-pointers. So Rice will be a team to, to definitely watch out for. Could be hurt by a lack of size inside. I don't know if they really have a go-to guy in the paint that's going to get them some points, but, you know, Bobby Frader is going to, uh, you know, design this offense to this team's strengths, and it's shooting. So expect them to launch some threes. Number seven, De La Salle, very interesting team. Uh, this, is a, this is a team that kind of has it, has it all, man. Lots of size, lots of skill, lots of experience. Uh, they got a four-year uh, varsity player by the name of Jamari Norwood, a guard. He's going to run the show. And nice to have a guy that's had spent four years on a varsity running the show. But look at some of the size, man. Dave Penska, six foot six. Javion Caldwell, six foot six. Barlow Alarusso, six foot eight. He's a kid who spent. One year at Rita, maybe two years at Rita. Then he transferred to Sandberg. Now he's on to De La Salle. So three years and uh, three schools in three years. Uh, and they have a couple of exciting juniors, Alex uh, Rayford and Clyde Benton, uh, to keep an eye on. These, those two kids are going to develop into go-to guys. And I would think by the end of the season they could be those guys. But it's a team with a tremendous amount of skill, size, speed, experience. Uh, so the Meteors should make a lot, a lot of noise. Uh, this season. Number six, Marion Catholic, you know, they won the Chicago Ice Classic, went 4-0. This was a team that people had some concerns. Chase Adams, a four-year guard, transferred to Orr for his senior season. Um, so obviously not putting a lot of priorities uh, on academics when you transfer Marion to Orr, or safety for that matter. But, uh, you know, people kind of were down a little bit on the uh, Spartans. But I'm going to tell you something. I covered them uh, in the championship game, and they looked awfully good, knocked off a really good Hillcrest team. Uh, a lot of guards, Malik Tidwell being one, and he's a kid who could throw up 20 uh, when asked. Aaron Eulis, a younger brother of Tyler Eulis, um, nice player. You can see he's getting a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. He's a junior right now. Uh, Chris White, a 6'7 big man. You know, it, this is a kid that's a, a shot blocker, more of a defensive guy, though they're going to need him to, to provide some uh, buckets around the rim. Uh, Alec uh, Dinwiddie, come off the bench. He looked good the other day. Uh, Josh Smith, Tim Jones. Uh, and a sophomore, Jordan Green, stepped up in a championship game and scored 18 points off the bench. And he's another guard, and Breon Hill is another younger kid. So Spartans are, are going to be a team to reckon with. East Suburban Catholics uh, pretty loaded this year, Maris being another good team, but I expect the Spartans uh, to make some serious noise. All right, folks, uh, we're going to go to an athletic uh, sports and orthopedic physical therapy time out. Uh, we come back, we're going to hit on that top five, talk players of the week, and hopefully, hopefully our guests will arrive sometime soon. Stay tuned. Athletic Sports and Orthopedic Physical Therapy is a 2,200 square foot facility that includes the latest in rehabilitation equipment, including the HydroTrack underwater treadmill. All therapists at Athletics are experienced and offer hands-on treatment for patients that require such therapy. Whether it's your feet, ankles, knees, hips, lower back, shoulders, elbows, wrists, neck or jaw, Athletics is here to help. We at Athletics understand you as a patient have the right to choose where you receive treatment. Ask your physician if Athletics, with locations in Oaklawn and Orland Park, is right for you. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a half sausage for you and your husband and a half just cheese for the kids who never seem to stop moving. Go ahead and take the night off, Mom. I got you covered. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American Classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala. Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the states Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. Hi, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. And look who finally showed up. Our guest today, Mr. Large Cheese and Sausage, made the appearance, man. And doesn't that baby look good? 
Gerard, I, I see this piece over here. Get this, get a shot of this piece over here. This one right here, the sauce spilling over the edge a little bit. You have no chance at getting that piece, Gerard. I just want you to know that. That is that isn't even gonna happen. Did you get that? That is a sweet piece right there. All right, folks, let's dissect these final five in this preseason top ten. Our number five team, Homewood Flossmore. Um, Inexperienced, skilled players. They got Maureen Scott, six foot four forward, nice player. Uh, John Quell Dawson, six foot eight. Sean Jones, R.J. Ogham, transfer from Marion Catholic. He's a six four kid. Got Chad Reedy, but the big get, Isaac Stanbeck, six foot four junior, transferring from Hillcrest, on the varsity since his freshman year at Hillcrest. He transferred to the HF, and that's a huge get for the Vikings. Very athletic, one of the best dunkers in the area. Uh, he could sky, man. He's got some serious hops. So Vikings look good. Um, they finished third at the Chicago Heights Classic. Number four team, Lincoln Way East. I can't remember the last time they, they've been in a, a boys basketball poll. It's been years. Maybe James Augustine way back in the day. Um, but, yeah, East looking good. they got a go-to guy, Sam Schaefer, um, Southern Illinois recruit. He can shoot it, man. He's 6'6". He can step out and knock it down. Very good player. Joe Begami, Zach Pardon, Nate uh, Sepudis, he's a six foot, six, six foot eight junior. Shane McLaughlin, six foot seven kid, so they've got some size and uh, they've got some good guards. That's going to be the question, man. They're going to have to handle the ball because teams are going to pressure uh, the Griffins. We'll see what happens. So far, so good, though. Number three, Hillcrest, the Hawks. They just reload over there, man. Plenty of experience, a lot of skill, uh, led by Robert Harvey, kind of a guard forward. He can knock down the three. Uh, Jalen Hughes will be running the point. He could also play a little uh, little two guard uh, along with Jeremiah Statton. He, he's a nice player as well, another guard. A couple kids to keep an eye on. Dylan West, six foot seven junior. He could knock down the three. He could also uh, supply some uh, points in the paint. Really nice player, man. Also a very good baseball player uh, for the Hawks. Um, another kid, a freshman, Kenton Wright. This kid can play, man. Five foot ten. He's going to fall into the category of one of the great guards in Hillcrest history when all is said and done, man. But he's starting as a freshman. A very, very nice player. Number two, St. Rita. Uh, Mustangs are young. A lot of sophomores, a lot of juniors. But those kids were all up on the varsity last year. So um, they've got some experience. Uh, senior Jordan Matthews. Older brothers Dominique and Charles Matthews. He's a point guard. Lefty. Uh, can get in the paint. Improved his outside shooting. Nice player. He could run the floor. Um, Jeremiah Oden, six foot eight kid. Cameron Bartman, six foot seven, six foot eight kid. So they've got some big time size. Uh, Landon Gladney will provide some scoring. And they've got a, those couple sophomores, Joel Watts and Alec Millinder, kids that played a lot last year. They're point guards. They could play the two, but uh, you know they've got a lot of pieces here. Gary DeCesar's got a lot of talent, a lot of skill to. To put something together. And number one, obviously, Morgan Park, defending class 3A state champions. They're loaded again. They lost Namari Burnett, a promising freshman. He transferred. He's out in California right now. LJ Johnson, a junior guard. He's off the, he, he's left. He's in Texas. Most programs couldn't handle that. They just reload, man. Mustangs reload. Obviously, Illinois recruit Ayo Dosamu. He's the main guy. He's a stud, one of the top players in the country. Tamel Pearson's a six foot ten kid. Adam Miller. He's a transfer from Peoria Emanuel. So they lost two kids, but they, they gained Adam Miller, a super sophomore. And a uh, couple nice guards, Marcus Watson, Kenyon Dooling, those guys that played a lot last year, had a lot of experience, a lot of leadership. Uh, I expect the Mustangs to make a run for the 3A state championship. All right, folks, uh, let's go to players of the week. The Labriola Bakery Cafe Golden Baguette Player of the Week. Got to be A.J. Henning of Lincoln Way East. 154 yards rushing, two touchdowns, lead the Griffins to the Class 80 State Championship. We're going to hook up A.J. with a $25 gift card. Compliments of Labriola Bakery Cafe in Oak Brook and Streeterville. Also could use it at one of the many Stan's Donuts locations and La Barra Restaurant in Oak Brook. The Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club Player of the Week. You know, hey man, you're gonna think I'm a little bit partial here to Lincoln East, but you know, we go to the, we, the people who are most deserving. That's who we award players of the week to. In this uh, instance, Lincoln East Lauren Hunter. She scored 18 points, pulled down 10 rebounds to lead the Griffins to a 66-54 win over Marist. We're gonna hook up Lauren with a gift certificate. Compliments of Lisa Thomas Salon locations in Orland Park, Tinley Park and Mokina. And remember, gals, you want to look your best during the holidays, $66 haircut, highlights, compliments of Lisa 
Thomas Salon. All right, folks, we're going to go to a Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout. Could be tape in there. I think in two weeks we're going to make the trip, either tape there or we're going to go to La Barra uh, next door, but we'll be there by hook or by crook. Come back high and tight. Stay tuned. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato and, of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria, conveniently located in the Oakbrook Promenade. It's time, your time. Look renewed. Feel rejuvenated. Visit Lisa Thomas Salon. Whether it's a new hairstyle, expertly applied makeup, skin treatments, or nail services, our professional stylists are up to date on all the latest techniques and styles to help you achieve the look you've always wanted. Find the you you deserve. Your transformation begins at Lisa Thomas. If you're suffering from physical pain, nothing else matters. The one thing that should is Midwest Orthopedic Consultants because experience never mattered more. Serving the community for 25 years with over 90 years of combined orthopedic experience, our fellowship trained surgeons provide individualized care to those suffering from orthopedic pain. We deliver comprehensive care from diagnostic to surgical to rehabilitative services all under one roof in each of our locations. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, bringing university level orthopedic care close to home. Hi, right, folks. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. And our guest here, Mr. Large Cheese and Sausage. We'll be getting into him a little bit later. A little bit later, me and Gerard. All right, folks. High and Tight, sponsored by our good friends at Midwest Orthope Orthopedic Consultants, locations in Oak Lawn and Orland Park. All right, High and Tight. You know, we talked about A.J. Henning, and most of the year, I mean, the kid is a, is a tremendous talent, and a lot of criticism directed at the Lincoln Way's coaching staff for not using him more. Um, but that's just not the way they roll. You know, in Lincoln Way East, you know, coaches of Onar and his staff primarily go with their seniors. Whether it's a, you know, a reward for being loyal to the program, whether they believe the seniors are more talented, whatever their, their philosophy is, that's generally what they do, especially when it comes to the skill positions. Um, and Henning, there's no doubt, he's, his time is going to come. I mean, he, he's a tremendous talent. The kid has got blazing speed, finished third in a 100-yard uh, dash in state last season. So the kid's unbelievable. However, he's 5'10", on the roster says he's 170. I don't know if he's 170 pounds, but at this point in his career, he is not a tackle, off-tackle guy. He's someone that's got to run on the outside, on the edge. He'll develop into a more powerful back. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the show. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.